Did you know that 49,000 people relocated to the Raleigh metro area between 2021 and 2022 alone? So at the same time, when so many people are moving, you may be wondering, well, why are residents leaving Raleigh in the first place? But just like any other city, people are going to constantly be moving in and out of Raleigh, North Carolina or any city. But in today's video, let's specifically focus on those individuals who left and figure out what was it about Raleigh, North Carolina that made them leave. Now, if you're new to me and this YouTube channel, we talk about everything you need to know about Raleigh, North Carolina. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. But also, I am a licensed realtor, so if you're looking to relocate here or just need additional information, just reach out. As I look at this Coral is talking about, do you regret moving to North Carolina? I really quickly here want to share this with you guys because I want you guys to understand that these are everyone's thoughts and opinions so really take this with a grain of salt but I want to go through the comments really quickly just so you guys can see why I say take everything with a grain of salt when you're looking at these different blogs or sites about everyone's perspective including my own but absolutely not this person met the love of their life here and saved their son and themselves life which is phenomenal right no great decision came here in 92 has been absolutely fa fabulous great this person two years living here wow they regret it one of the most unfriendliest rat holes i've ever lived in <laughs> and even talks about the traffic being as bad as la and i've been to la and i don't think this traffic is that bad but it can get pretty annoying from time to time don't get me wrong nope it's a it's honestly beautiful here i'm glad i moved away from the same old city same old folks and you know so again you got these are this is a relatively newer comment I would say this is two years ago five and I'm not gonna go through all of it entirely I just kind of want to share that with you guys because as someone like myself who personally relocated here and is not from Raleigh I can agree and disagree to some of the comments that were even left there but this is exactly why I implore you to really understand why do even people leave in the first place so you can identify if this is a good place for you or not. I'll share a story on this really quickly, not about myself, about someone I was speaking to and you know he was mentioning how his daughter relocated to another place and I guess not enough research was really done. And so now his daughter is not really enjoying the place that they're in. And again, I don't want this to be you or anybody that's watching this because again, here is one of the sources. You can watch these videos all day long to provide you a source, but I will say, and I'm gonna continuously say, it, I implore you all to really take a trip, visit the area at least once so you can see for yourself. You can live through my experiences, you can live through my thoughts, my opinions, but there's nothing better than getting your own. So more of the story, don't move to an area without doing your homework and Make sure you watch this video from start to end because now you'll be able to understand why are people even leaving the Raleigh, North Carolina area to begin with. So one of the first things I'll mention, and this is more of an external factor I could say because again it's not so much things that you have control over, but of course wanting to be close to family and friends. When you leave a certain area, you may be leaving everything that you've known behind. So it, of course it's one of those uncomfortable feelings that you're moving to a new place without having really maybe no one on the ground to really help you navigate or even be able to speak to so that is one of the key deciding factors I've and of course you can even add on the fact that moving to another area and then having to relocate back because of family health or whatever the case is your family dynamics change so that is something that of course is something I see as more of an external thing because sometimes you just don't have uh, control over what is going on there then we had individuals who's mentioned the job opportunities. So this in the Raleigh area, you're going to be heavily tech, government, medical. I mean, I'm missing a few others, of course, but those are the three major ones. So there's individuals who would move, relocate here, hoping to, I guess, land a job somewhere within maybe those fields or outside of those fields and just not be able to land anything, of course, you need money like we all need money to survive so if you can't bring in any money and you don't have anything on the freelance aspect or even your own business to create some sort of lifestyle for yourself it is of course it's going to be very difficult and at that point in time individuals may say to themselves all right i gotta get out of here and go back home or go to where i used to where i used to be or maybe find another place to be able to land a job so i think that that right there can be easily avoided by simply not to say this is a simple task but by simply just applying prior to your relocation so then that way of course you can have you know you have something and you can use that to navigate and live the day to day that you need to live wherever you're trying to live moving on to the next one we have the cost of living I guess this one surprises many people of course when you think of the south and of course we're not deep into the south so 
when you think of the south you think oh yeah it's cheaper i'm gonna get a bang for my buck i'm gonna get a whole bunch of land so when some individuals get here they're like oh this is what i get it's a it could be an eye opener it could be shocking to many individuals because they're just the perception of what it's what it was or what it could be and the reality is two different things Maybe before 2020, you were able to get away with it, but after 2020 and everyone relocating here, the news, everyone really talking about North Carolina being a hotspot, uh, I think the bang for your buck aspect is gone out the window. Now, if you're relocating from California, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, and you, you got deep pockets, this is, this is, you're probably still looking at this like, man, Ronnie, what are you talking about? I, this is still a bang for my buck. But for those individuals that are not coming from those areas, they may look at this entirely different. So if you're looking at Raleigh like, man, I can't get a bang for my buck there just quite yet, just look outside of Raleigh. Don't focus just on Raleigh in itself. There's a ton of opportunities that you could look and ton of suburbs, cities, and towns that you can look outside of Raleigh and still have accessibility to the city in itself. So if you want to leave Raleigh for that reason, go ahead. Just know that there's other options as well. With that being said about different options, the quality of life was also a big concern. And of course, that just means a lot of different things for many different people because everyone's lifestyle is going to be different but one thing i would definitely share with you immediately is if you're going to think about living in raleigh and you want to be in the mountains or you want mountain living or you want kind of beach living don't don't move to raleigh because you're not going to get either one of those yes they're two hours apart depending on which direction you are in but if you're looking to be in it raleigh is not going to be the one to provide that to you and i'll just say that because again i'm here to be very blunt with you guys and let you guys know exactly what raleigh is so you guys do not move to the wrong place and have to relocate again because moving in the first place is a hassle but another choice was again retirement so not in a lot of individuals say north carolina in itself is a great retirement place uh, it all depends on your lifestyle and what it is that you're looking for again it goes back to what is it that you in desire what you need so Maybe Raleigh wasn't the place that they really can see their long-term goals of retiring here. But like I mentioned, the quality of life means differently to everyone. And one thing I want to include is health, because of course that I think, I think personally is a big one. And so I saw this article and I want to be able to reference it really quickly. So I came across this article talking about North Carolina's county when it comes to how bad the air quality is. Now, of course, speaking on health, I really saw this and I was like, okay, well, maybe this is a reason why many people are leaving North Carolina because they saw this article or they just like realized it themselves. That, All right, this air quality is gonna be bad for my health long-term. So let's take a look to see by county where again, Raleigh's in Wake County. So we're gonna be looking at this one specifically, how it is when it comes to health outcomes. So we, see, we can see it ranks as number one. Okay, that's great. Let's go take a look at another one, quality, quality of life, which is something we just spoke about, right? We're still talking about that. Still ranked number one. I'm still, at this point in time, I'm still trying to understand and trying to realize, okay, well, what is it? Is it something that I'm missing? Health factors, let's see. Rank number two, so it's still relatively ranked pretty high based off of the entire North Carolina. But there was one thing that I came across and I was like, ah. I think this is what everyone is referring to. This one caught me off guard. It probably catch you off guard as well. And it's the physical environment. Wow, look at that. A whopping 86 where individuals live, learn, work, and play. People interact with their physical environment through the air they breathe, the water they drink, and the homes and where they live and transportation they use. Oh my goodness. I saw this and I said, well, this has to be what everybody is thinking and talking about and again what that article is even referenced now if all of that information is new to you this is exactly why you must subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos but also if you do have any major concerns or questions or anything of that nature that number that you do see popping up right there make sure to give me a call shoot me text email day or night heck maybe even on the weekends always remember one thing i got your back in this market as we're going through this list, I realized that the one that I really wanted to speak about is coming up here shortly. So you guys want to stick around for that one. But another one that individuals did mention is it's just not the right fit. Now, what does that really mean? Maybe they don't fit in. They moved to the wrong area, which is a very, very important piece, right? It, it wasn't country enough. Now, if you're looking for country, as I mentioned, just go outside of Raleigh and you may get a little bit more of that rural area that you may be looking for. It was very slow is another one that individual said as if it, as in it's not the right fit, which 
I don't know what that really means. I'm from Connecticut. I've, I've traveled to New York plenty of times. I've seen fast pace. And I'm not going to say things are like New York at all, but it's not as slow as what I would think and kind of be like wary for. So I don't know. Not my, not my personal issues because again, I'm here. These are individuals that are speaking on their behalf of their opinions, however. And then uh, individuals that I've actually mentioned, they found it difficult to get to know people here. Um, I think this is everyone that's going to grow up as an adult. You're going to have difficulties in general. Now, I'm not here to be a critic on any of these comments, opinions that people left. I'm just sharing with you guys and then sharing my thoughts at the same time. And this is why I always say to you guys, and I'm going to continue to say, is that visit the area before you get here to really see what it's like, to see if you can even vibe with what's going on, vibe with the people. Because that's something that, again, your personality is going to really feed off and help you gauge that. And if you're thinking of taking me up on what I just said, which is take a trip to visit, and you really want to maximize your trip here, just reach out to me. Let me know that you're thinking about making a trip. And therefore, I can provide you with, you know, homes or the areas that you're thinking about, what areas to really hyper-focus in on, whether it's down to a specific area or even a subdivision. Therefore, you can at least maximize your time, especially if you're limited on how many times you can get out to this area. So that I can do that to help you guys out. Just reach out to me. Let me know that you're thinking about going to visit and you kind of want a guide or at least an, a pinpoint on what areas for the home specific that I could really share out for you guys because that's where I have all my information. And then after your trip, if you have several areas in mind, then that's where we could really hyper focus on those areas and we can move on to the next step, which would then be talking about North Carolina's real estate and how that all operates, how to really prepare yourself to make an offer and so on and so forth. But if you're not at that stage yet and still contemplating if Raleigh, North Carolina is a good fit for you, that is perfectly fine. Just continue to watch my videos and when you are ready, just make sure to give me a ring so we can make sure that you get through that next step and proceed to what it is that you're looking to do here in North Carolina. But moving on to the next one, a lot of individuals mentioned they left the area because it was too boring, it's not enough entertainment. In fact, I, one thing I will share is entertainment here is well spread out. Whether you're looking in the downtown area, whether you're looking at Raleigh, you're in Cary, Apex, Morris, the Wake Forest, Garner. It's there is everywhere and everywhere is going to give you a different feel. It may be somewhat similar um, depending on where exactly you go. But one thing I can definitely mention, it this is just not a place where you go to vacation. <laughs> when I think of vacations, I think of, you know, of course, going on hikes, going being at the beach relaxing going on you know amusement parks it is not you don't have all of that stuff here so in my personal opinion you're better off going to if you want a vacation here or you want to move here and you find yourself in a difficult situation where you don't have enough entertainment and it's boring maybe travel to another state or go to you know travel to one of the beaches or to the mountains like you have accessibility to other places it's just here in Raleigh you'll be kind of limited in my opinion but for those who live here already in Raleigh, North Carolina, let's hear it in the comments below and let everyone know, do you find Raleigh to be a boring or not? Because boy oh boy, I couldn't wait to talk about this one, which is something I discovered after I moved. Don't make that the same decision that I did, guys. I didn't do as enough homework as I should have done and I found myself in this fickle and I was just like, man, what am I going to do? But it's all good. We're going to figure it out. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. This is not something that's going to make me reconsider my decision, but the weather. I was warned when I got here how the summers are. It's hot and humid. I mean, man, is it? You got to get that experience. If you don't know who, what humidity is like, go to just go down south and North Carolina provides you one of its own. You still have the four seasons here, but it's a very short winter, which I enjoy. I love coming from Connecticut. I dealt with long, long winters and it's just not fun. But then I can also say unpredictable weather. Sometimes it'll be and then unpredictable weather can mean its own thing. It'll be cold in the morning and then warm in the afternoon, which I think is a great thing. And then you'll be driving or walking and it starts to rain and the rain just clears up. So this is like the unpredictable weather thing that I'm talking about. The one that is most important and near dear to my heart that hurts me on a regular basis every single year is the pollen here. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I talked about it before in the past in my old videos. So if you're a reoccurring viewer, then you know how I feel about this. But the pollen here is ridiculous. This is something that does pose a major threat to me as I do have allergies. So is it something that I, when the season comes nearby, I just kind of I go outside less and less or I take more. I take my meds. Um, I try not to, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And then last but not least, when it comes down to the weather, 
the pollen one is the most important thing to me, honestly. Everything else I can deal with, I can tolerate. It. But the pollen, I got, I got to face it. I got, I got to get punched from here and there. But the hurricane season, yes, you are prone to hurricane. That is a threat to many individuals, and of course, that being a threat, many individuals just don't want to deal with that. So, relocating for that reason, leaving Raleigh because again, North Carolina is prone to it. Have I experienced one? Not a major one. But there you have it when it comes to the weather. One of the biggest things, when I say the biggest things, is really the pollen aspect of it for myself that made me even think about like, how did I miss this? Now you know some of the things that go on with the weather here in North Carolina. Maybe you can understand why some individuals are leaving. But let's leave the weather to the side and let's move on to, this is a growing area. So a lot of individuals, of course, if you're native, what you see today in Raleigh, you're like, what in the world is going on? Because there's a lot of new construction. Of course, with new construction, there's more. As I mentioned earlier in the video, 49,000 people moved to the Raleigh area. So, of course, there's going to be more congestion at the same time. That's what the new construction is for. They're preparing for all the growth in the population, the growing, so on and so forth. So, that also has an impact on the smaller towns. The smaller towns will now become bigger cities not everybody wants that everybody wants to be kind of laid back chill and not be bothered by what everybody else is doing and so that is a big thing i think that a lot of people are experiencing and of course when you have limited tr public transportation that doesn't really follow suit with the growth they're working on it but it's just not what it is and some people may really need that so you know just kind of bringing in that city feel to the area as the area is growing i think a lot of individuals are just like hey I actually enjoyed what it was, not what it's becoming. So I got to chuck up the deuces. I got to go to somewhere where they're not doing all of this chaos. And that's causing individuals to want to be out, get out of there. Myself, I love growth. I want to be a part of it. So let's run it up. However, I do want to bring this up and really talk to you guys on a serious note. Because as I mentioned, this is an area that is growing. And of course, if you stay to this point, I want to give you guys a bonus. So. The schools in the area, in specific areas are getting to capacity with the growth. So I really want to share that with you guys because I want you guys, if you guys are looking into the area in itself, make sure that if you're looking at a specific school, you understand what they're, if they're at capacity and if so, where is the overflow of school? What is that process for you to be able to relocate in that specific area and get into the school that you're looking to get into? A lot of individuals will move to a specific area to find out even if they're in that district, they, their children cannot attend those schools because they're at capacity. So because you stay to this point, I'll drop you that big gem. Many individuals do make that little screw up there and it could of course make an impact whether they leave the entire area or whether they just relocate at a later date or figure whatever is something out. But that's something that you can truly indeed prepare yourself for. But speaking of growth, if you really want to see what type of developments is going on in the area, I did a video previously speaking about this that you can go ahead and check out. However, this entire video was about people leaving Raleigh, North Carolina. And now I'm pretty sure you're wondering at this point, well, if they're leaving, where are they going? Let's go find out. So you can see here, this is Redfin's data and they're sharing with us the migration and relocation trends. And here's the map, first and foremost, of people who are moving from Raleigh and where they're going. You can see they don't go far. So it's not so much about a Raleigh thing. It could be literally directly towards Raleigh. And because what's going on here, everyone's like, I still enjoy being here in the South. I still enjoy everything that's here. I just don't like what's happening specifically in whatever specific location. Let's go ahead and make my guy a little bit smaller. And you guys can see specifically, people are leaving Raleigh for these areas. So Greensboro, Murder Beach, Asheville, New Bern, Boone, Rocky Mount, Jacksonville, North Carolina oh not Florida okay Hickory Portland Maine wow that's a that's a big overchange but then you have Charleston South Carolina so there you have it now you know why people are leaving where they're even moving to and now you can make your decision are those good enough reasons that people are you know leaving Raleigh North Carolina to go to these places here I mean there you have it so now with all that being said I'm very curious if you're currently or even considering leaving Raleigh, North Carolina, let's hear it in the comments below. Why are you even thinking about it? Because just as much as I enjoy making these videos for you guys, my name is Ronnie Polonis and I am a licensed realtor here and would love the opportunity to be able to assist you with your relocation needs. So you see that number that is popping up right there? Make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, email, day or night, heck, maybe even on the weekends. Always remember one thing, I got your back in this market.